Good morning and welcome to NYFP. This is your word from the floor for Thursday, September 15, 2011. As the New York session gets underway, the major U.S. stock averages are posting an advance higher by at least half a percentage point. This does come on the heels of the rally seen in Europe. Now, earlier today, the ECB announced additional liquidity measures uh, for boosting U.S. dollar liquidity. The central bank will be working in coordination with the Federal Reserve, the Swiss National Bank, the Bank of Japan, as well as the Bank of England. And U.S. economic debt releases are in the spotlight. They did come in on a mixed note with uh, weekly initial jobless claims for the latest week rising by 11,000. And the New York Empire Manufacturing Index contracted for the fourth straight month in a row, coming in at minus 8.82 in September from the negative 7.7 in the prior month. And industrial production rose by 0.2 percent, while capacity utilization came in at 77.4 percent. Meanwhile, U.S. CPI gained by 0.4 percent, while core CPI rose uh, just 0.2 percent. And very quickly, looking at company news, Netflix shares a tumble by as much as 15 percent. Now, this does come on the heels of the uh, streaming movie uh, company taking a hit after cutting its forecast for subscribers for the upcoming quarter by 1 million. Also in the spotlight today, Pier 1 import shares are higher by over 2.5% after reporting a fiscal second quarter profit that topped estimates. Last but not least, the U.S. dollar is seeing a mixed trading higher against the yen but weaker against the euro and pound. Now following the uh, move by the ECB, euro dollar did rally above the 1 and 39 level. And that does wrap it up for your work from the floor for Thursday, September 15, 2011. Thanks for watching and have a great day.